to be here today on the occasion of inauguration of the National Exhibition INPAC 2011 and share this dais with distinguished personalities who are here to grace this event. The Indian Institute of Packaging has been very successful holding national and international exhibition and trade shows for the benefit of packaging and allied fraternity. This INPAC exhibition follows the resounding success of India PAC 2010, which was an international exhibition organized during September-October last year. With the support of Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Food Processing, Ministry of Textiles, and number of trade associations, World Packaging Organization, and Asia pa Packaging Organization Federation, INPAC 2011 is set to continue this success story. The main objective of this exhibition is to bring all the stakeholders who are directly or indirectly related to the packaging to a common platform and allow them to interact on the latest trends and technologies in their respective fields. This would help evolve cross-fertilization of ideas, technologies, and businesses. Today, packaging is considered to be the sunrise industry in the world market. This is one of the world's largest and diversified sectors. In the Asia-Pacific region, packaging industry is the third largest market and is growing at an average rate of 5 to 6 percent. Market volume of Indian packaging industry is about US dollar 17 billion and has been constantly growing by approximately 15 percent year after year and it is now expected to grow at the rate of 18 percent per annum in the next few years to reach dollar 40 billion by 2015. Industrialization, urbanization, paired with globalization are the major factors fueling the growth and the improvement. I would just like to share a few important data on demography of India, although Keith mentioned about uh, them. In 2011, in the recent census, we see Indian population at 1.21 billion. In 2031, it is expected to be 1.52 billion. The, the population in 15 to 59 years age, which is currently 758 million, is likely to be 973 million. Urban population from 377 million is likely to be close to 600 million. GDP, India GDP, 1.53 trillion, trillion dollars, is expected to be 7.16 trillion dollars. And GDP ranking, India's GDP ranking currently at number 10, is likely to be number 3 by 2031. India continues high growth trajectory despite global slowdown, and one can see improvement on various parameters like foreign trade, <coughs> literacy rate, and industrial growth. According to McKenzie Global Institute, the middle class, which, is on, which was only 5% of the population in 2005, is expected to go up to 41% of the population in 2025, and India will emerge as the fifth largest consumer market in the world. The market potential of India is yet to be tapped as rural and youth market. They are driving the demand. India is looking at growth with inclusion, and is moving towards making her as an international manufacturing hub. It is estimated that India would invest US dollar, close to US dollar one trillion in infrastructure in the next five years. This will also have a strong impact on the growth of packaging industry. The Indian per capita consumption of packaging material is as low as 0.3 kg compared to world average of five kilo per capita and is likely to soar. Packaging industry has to gear up and meet the changing demands of the future and keep abreast with the latest technologies. Trade show is the most effective way to get face to face with the prospective and current customers. Exhibitions are used more in selling process than any other marketing technique. While it creates an impact in the minds of the visitors and the exhibitors, it also helps in building a brand image. I'm sure this exhibition will reflect the latest trends and provide a platform for technologies that will trigger the future growth of the industry. With this, let me wish the exhibitors a grand success and lots of opportunity to network and make useful contacts. I would like to congr congratulate IAP, especially Regional Center Hyderabad, for putting up such a grand show. Thank you.